In this GibbsCam tech tip, we're going to show you how to import and machine a DXF drawing. First, let's go to File, Import. From the Import list, let's select DXF. There's our file right there. Click it, press Open, and there is your part. Notice that it is gray and it cannot be selected. That's because it was brought in on its own workgroup. Workgroup is what GibbsCam calls layers. <clears throat> let's make that layer active and let's move this geometry to the center of the machine which is at XYZ0. We're going to draw a point at the center of this arc using point, center point, click the arc and do it. Now that we have that we'll select all the geometry with control A and we're going to use modify absolute translate to move this geometry from here to zero. Double click in the X from position, press your shift and alt keys and click on the point and that point dimension will jump into this box. You want it to go to X0, Y0, Z0, click do it. It is now positioned correctly but since it's pink we need to make it all native to this current coordinate system. Modify, change CSXYZ. It is now native to this coordinate system, but we see a problem with the geometry that is very common. Whoever drew this part drew too many points, and Bill Gibbs says blue, good, yellow, bad. Right now we cannot make a continuous toolpath out of this because these points are not connected because there are too many of them. I'm going to select the four points that are in that stack. I'm going to delete them. And after I delete them, you'll see that I can now go and connect up those corners. Shift window, right click, connect. 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 Don't worry that this arc is backwards. Oop, I gotta go back and get this little point here. Don't worry that this arc is backwards. It's fine, just click on it and do a Control T reverse arc. Your geometry is now ready for machining. We will double click on the shape. We already have a volume mill roughing process here and we're gonna click do it. After we click do it, we can look at the process manager here and see the process progress here it's 15 16 20 percent it is generating a high speed volume mill roughing tool path and you are done you can now machine your part let's have a look at the machining real quick there's your volume mill pocket we hope you enjoyed this gibbs cam tech tip if you need any more assistance please reach out to your local gibbs cam reseller